Hi guys, welcome back to Piping Welding and DT channel. So this is eccentric reducer. So this is the picture of eccentric reducer and I will show you the formula how to fabricate this eccentric reducer. Okay. So this is a letter A. We have a letter D. A. C, A, B, and this is 3, multiply it to A, okay? So in this section, we will I will make a dimension, so this is letter E, and we have a letter H okay so from this picture we have a dimension and how to compute this eccentric reducer so this is the the main purpose for this dimension is uh, to easy and to compute this eccentric reducer okay so the formula for this eccentric reducer so for the letter A how to compute this uh, dimension A so we have a formula for that so the, the formula for that dimension A so this is the main dimension A so 1 8 of a small 5 and circumference okay 1 8 of a small 5 circumference for this letter A okay so next letter B so this is our letter B so to find this letter B the difference of outside circumference says multiply it to 0 0.0833 okay next this dimension letter C so to find that the difference of outside circumference multiply it to 0.1666 okay so next this letter D so to find this letter D a difference of outside circumference multiply it to point 25 okay so letter E so this is our letter E okay so to find this letter E so 1 and 1 half multiply it to outside diameter of larger 5 So next, this letter H. So to find this, the dimension E, so this is dimension E, multiply it to 0.866. Okay, so this is used for a radial cut. So this is a very, very simple to fabricate this eccentric reducer, okay? And that's all for now guys and thanks for watching and don't forget to share and so that uh, um, uh, many people to benefit this all my video regarding piping welding and NDD okay don't forget to share and don't forget to like it and have a nice day guys and see you my next video this is some more videos coming up thank you hi guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this video is regarding um, pipe properties okay or pipe schedule so in ask me pipe is ask me b 36.10 in ask me so pipe is b 36.10 in ask me so please take note that so five properties So this is a front view. Okay. So this is our um, this is outside diameter or OD and this is 
ID or inside diameter and we have also called thickness so this is our wall thickness so this is our um, pipe properties okay outside diameter inside diameter and thickness okay now we have we have NPS and DN so NPS or NB so what is that what the meaning of NPS and DN okay so NPS a nominal pipe size and NB is nominal bore and DN is diameter nominal in the American system okay the piping uh, pipe diameter is known this is known NPS okay in the American system or NB okay so we have a different um, NPS and DN for example okay I will raise this one so we have a 1 8 so this is an NB so we have a many and one fourth three eight okay one half so this is kinds of nominal bore so what is the dn of this one eight because this is six okay this is eight okay dn is diameter nom uh, three eight okay what is a uh, three eight in dn so this is ten and one half this is fifteen so this is the example of NPS and DN. <coughs> so what is the they have um, also called outside diameter and inside diameter and also the schedule. Okay, from this uh, one uh, one eight, they have one point twenty four millimeter. Okay, this is millimeter. Okay, and the five schedule. And we have 0.049 inches for this one eight, and the schedule is ten. So the standard for this uh, DN six is we have standard forty. So the standard for this is one point seventy three and point zero sixty eight. Okay, in inches. So this is millimeter. So schedule the standard for this is schedule 40 okay now for this dn okay we have outside diameter so this dn is we have um okay for the schedule 40 now uh, schedule 40 this because this is a uh, standard we have 2.24 millimeter and 24 this is 2.24 and we have 0 0.088 inches so this is so this is also schedule 40 standard okay so next is 10 so we have so for the schedule 40 standard 2.31 and 0 0.091 inches okay. next is 15 so 15 is for the schedule 40 okay we have uh, schedule 10 schedule 30 schedule 80 schedule 160 okay but the standard is schedule 40 we will uh, topic for the schedule 40 so this is 2.77 and 0.109 inch 
okay for this 15 so 2.77 and 1.09 inch okay so this is the example of pipe schedule and also the nominal bore okay nominal bore and the end Another example, okay, we have so our uh, NPS, uh, NPCS, NPS, let's say 4 inch, okay. So our NPS is 4 inch, when DN is 100. So for the 10 inch, so DN is 250. Okay. And for the 12 inch, pin is 300. Okay. And we have also a 5 schedule for each nominal pipe size. Okay. So let's start for this 4 inch. For the standard schedule 40, this is 6.02. This is millimeter okay. for inches is this is 0.237 inches. Okay, so in the 10 inch for the schedule 40, this is 9.27 okay. millimeter schedule 40 standard. And next is for the 12 inch. So this is 300 and for the schedule 40 this is 10.31 millimeter okay for the inches this is 0 0.406 inches okay so that's all for now guys and thanks for watching just take note all these topic for today and don't forget to subscribe in and just comment if you have a comment for this video just leave in the comment and don't forget this symbol thank you for watching guys and have a nice day bye bye hi guys welcome to piping welding and DT channel so this is a color coding table and this color coding table we have material so this is our material and we have also an ASTM code so this is our ASTM code so this ASTM code is American Society testing material code and now from this item we have pipes first is pipes okay so from the pipes from the material we have CS, LTCS, AS, and SS. Okay, CS is a carbon steel, LTCS is low tem carbon steel, and alloy steel, and also stainless steel. Okay, from the carbon steel, the ASTM code is AFI5LB, and we have also A672B65. Okay. From the LTCS, from the low temp carbon steel, we have A33 grade 6. So this is SMLS, so seamless. Okay. From AS, we have, from the ASTM code, we have A33 5P11. Stainless steel is, is A312 type 316L and A312 type 304 H okay, so this is H is also SMLS. So both this ASTM code from the stainless steel is SMLS. So this is a uh, seamless. Okay, so next is we have fittings. So our fittings, so this is our fittings. Okay, so from the fittings, we have also item. The same with the pipes. 
all items is carbon steel, LTCS, and AS, AS, and we also AS. Okay, so from this ASTM code from the fittings, we have A234, WFB, and A105 for the carbon steel. For the low time carbon steel, and we have A420, WFL6, A350, LF2. For the alloy steel, A234, WF11, CL, and we have also A182, P11. Okay, so from the stainless steel, A403, WF304, LS. From the A, uh, A1082, that's F304L. So this is for the stainless steel. Okay, so next is we have also a gasket and bolts and nut okay so this is our gasket bolt and nut so we have sw for gasket so this sw is spiral wound and we have or type 316l and or type 304h for the astm code so this or is um, outer ring and we have also CR centering and we have also IR is inner ring so this uh, outer ring you will see this type of steel stainless stainless this is stainless steel 316 and 304 okay now we have a bolt and so last this is last bolt bolt and nut so we have a stem called B7 and L7 okay so this Okay, so this L7 for the, this one is for the high temp. We have A193 B7 and we have A320 L7. So this B7 is A19242H and we have also L7 is A184-4. Okay. So that's all for now guys so this is a very important for the uh, five feeter and also for the five inspector you must know what is the coding so this is ats take code a stem code for the five speedings gasket and bolt and nut so this is we have also a color coding for that and we have also a thickness and thickness and also color okay for the uh, in the meantime we will traffic first this ASTM because so next is um, thickness what is the thickness and what is the color of this all material okay based on the our uh, item pipe speed things gasket and bolt and nut so thanks for watching guys and have a nice day don't forget to subscribe and if you have comment just comment here what my uh, what your comment in my video and please click like okay thank you bye bye see you